Pisces, welcome to the end of February for your love reading, Valentine's Day until the 29th. Cannot believe we are going into March already. This is crazy. All right, let's take a look and see what the love messages are for you, Pisces. Middle of February until the end of March. Okay, um, first I want to pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle just to see what's going on for you. Okay, your message, let go of control issues. Wow, Pisces. Um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, you've got something going on with someone, obviously. And this is a situation that it's time for you to let go. Um, no matter how many tarot card readings you're listening to, no matter how much advice you're getting and trying to seek these answers and trying to figure out what the heck is going on, it is time to just give it up for a while. Just leave it be. Let it go. Okay, Pisces? Um, all right. Look at all these cards that flew out. Holy. All right. I'm going to take them. You got the lovers and you have... And I'm not going to put these in the spread, but we're going to talk about this. Here's the lovers in the Knight of Cups. Okay. Valentine's Day, there's probably going to be something um, or sometime in the month of February. Okay. Gemini energy. We also have um, the King of Swords in the reverse. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Um, listen, this is definitely an energy of like, you know, somebody's trying to make a connection better. Okay, um, bring the marriage back together, bring the relationship back together, reconnect, try to make things right between us is what I'm hearing. But there's somebody here who is, um, perhaps you're dealing with this person. This is an air sign, definitely feeling left out in the cold. Okay, feeling lost. They are in a very nasty way in February. Um, feeling abandoned. Maybe, you know, I don't know who's doing what here. Um, but I feel like this is a situation of trying to fix it, trying to fix it, trying to fix it. Come in from out of the cold. I'm handing you my cup. Here we go. Let's be, let's get back together. Let's make this work. Let's have this love. Let's be vulnerable with each other. Let's communicate, right? But these are control tactics, right? I know it's like, how can love be a control tactic? But there, there's this need I'm feeling to bring this connection back together. And this King of Swords is in the reverse. And it's just really being a bitch. <laughs> and if it's a male, then it's, you know, a jerk, whichever it might be. And um, this person's just kind of like, you know, this person honestly could be um, playing on your uh, sympathies and your emotions, too. So you might want to just keep an eye out for that. Okay. Um, but there's, there's, even if they're not, there's just this energy that's hanging on here, where it's saying you need to let go of this. Honestly, Pisces, I feel like your person has let go right now. Okay. Um, but they're letting go because they're feeling sorry for themselves. This is honestly what I feel like is happening here. They're removing themselves from the situation. Um, I'm hearing the love's not enough right now. Okay. So, you know, you might be receiving, you might be receiving some kind of, um, love offer or message or a gift or something in Valentine's day, or just, you know, somebody handing you their cup with this intention to bring something back together here. Um, but I feel like you both, both of you like need to let go of this connection for at least the last half of February. Um, because I feel like if you, you know, whomever the person is you're dealing with, they're like in this funk, they're doing this thing. They're either playing the victim or they are staying outside. They don't want to come in the house. They don't want to come in is what I'm feeling. They just don't want to come in the house. They may have an issue or they have an injury or there's something going on with them and maybe you're trying to take care of them and, um, but you're, you know, maybe your intentions to take care of them is because you love them and you want to, you know, help them and be with them. But 
they're viewing this as an as a, a control thing okay and that's why let go of control issues has come up right and i don't know for some of you i just feel like either they're actually a victim of something or they're playing the victim um or they have some kind of injury or they're on crutches and like they're just being really nasty and you're trying to love them to death and you're trying to like love them and nurse them back to health and you're giving all this unconditional love but they, they it's like i feel like your person's just like i don't want this right now and i don't I don't feel that it's because the love's not there. I just kind of feel like they're detached from the love right now, right? This is the message that's coming forward for me here with whomever you're dealing with. Again, it could be a water sign, it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be Earth. It really just depends. Um, let me take a look here. I'll pull one more card. Well, let me pull a card for the lovers. Okay, yeah, so, you know, I don't usually read reversals, but for some reason my deck's coming out in reversals, so we're going to, we're going to go with it. So the six of, um, oh gosh, the six of pentacles in the reverse, the upright, this is always my breadcrumbing card, not giving enough, you're over giving Pisces, you're over giving right now, you're giving way too much, you're giving more of yourself. See, the six of pentacles in the upright is someone that has a lot to give, but only gives breadcrumbs. In the reverse, um, he has a lot to give and he's giving you all of it. He's giving too much of himself, he or she, and I feel like this is in the position of you, right? And this person's taking this as like, I, I hear them, like they're, they're, see the king of swords is very like clear about things. You know, um, air signs are very clear and they can be very cutting and they just kind of have this like, they can get a real attitude when they know the truth because they know the truth of things. And um, they feel if somebody's trying to like, air signs just can't be manipulated. It's just, they're too freaking smart. And, and that's the truth. And, you know, Pisces, you're just so fluid and you're romantic and you're, you know, you're really good and you're charming and air signs are like with the knife, you know, and this person, I feel the more you give, the more unconditional love you give this person, the more you reach out and give to them, the more they're just like backing away, disappearing. They don't want to come in the house. They don't want to be around. They're in a nasty mood with the king of swords in the reverse. Nasty. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, they just want to keep things moving. They're just like, nope, and keep it moving. I know this is terrible, but I mean, this person, they don't, it's, I don't feel like, so let me clear this up. I don't feel like this person doesn't want your love, but what I feel is that they don't want your unconditional love because they're kind of in this place like, well, you know what? I'm not your child. And they kind of feel like you're treating them like a child. That's the truth. That's, I mean, that's the truth of my message. That may not be what actually is going on, but that's what I feel is going on. And, you know, this person, I feel like is just, their mindset is, let me just keep it rolling here because I'm just, I see them even, all right. So in the, even in the case, the scenario, this person's ill or they have an illness and you're trying to help or you're just doing whatever, they're getting mad about, like they're getting nasty about too much help they want to be able to do it on themselves they want some time for themselves they want to take care of things themselves and take care of things on their own they want to nurse themselves they're i'm hearing i don't need your help stop i don't need your help and your your intentions are good but like you're you know you know what happens when you put too much water on a plant <laughs> you overwater your plants you're going to drown them they're going you're going to kill them and that's what i feel like this person but you know it's like I feel like they're not being like open really communicative with you like they're just kind of being nasty with you instead of just saying listen having like a real sit down conversation and talking about it yeah ten of pentacles is in the reverse here so I see you're trying to like keep the family stable you're trying to keep this situation this relationship stable um, and because it's unstable there's loss here. It's unbalanced. There's, you know, there's money being lost. There's, you know, um, if there's a lack of safety in this connection. Maybe you don't know what's going to happen or you don't know what's going on. And um, you're trying to keep it all together at the end of, like, it's really significant at the end of February, just trying to keep it all together. There might be like a birthday or something and you're offering some kind of gift and you're spending all your money 
because that's what I feel like is going on here. You're breaking the bank for this person. You're spending all your money. You're giving too much of yourself. You know, you're taking money out of funds or something in the house or the home. You're, you're overdoing it. I'll buy you a house. I'll buy you a car. I'll fix this. I'll do this. I'll do that. It's, it's saying for you to stop it because um, you're, you're giving all this love to somebody and they're just, you know, it seems to me like they're, they're not wanting it at the end of February. They're just like, no, I don't want it. I have my own money, Knight of Pentacles. So here's what they, here's what they would appreciate though. Okay. Just give me one small thing that shows that you care. That's all I need. Okay. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is. Don't throw it on me. Don't push it on me. Just one tiny little thing, one little coin, you know, buy me a cup of coffee, you know, get me a cup of tea or whatever it is that you know that they like. Um, that a little trinket, a little something that shows you care. Um, because all this extra, you're being too extra with this person and it's turning them off. Right. So if you're like, mess I'm trying to get my lights fixed here. If you're doing like a, if you're Valentine's messaging this and you're female, knock that off. Honestly, stop that. Let this person message you, <laughs> send you some flowers or do something. Don't give them, don't be over like going out of your way. If you're sensing that your person is just not interested, you're not going to buy their love. You're not going to be able to get them to move. What will move them? It's just a very a very delicate gesture, not because the knight of the knight of pentacles doesn't like he's not charging in with all this stuff. He's just like here, you know, a little something. So this seems to just be a message for you. Um, you listen, I just see with this king of swords. I just want to reiterate this with this king of swords. He's just he or she is just in a really nasty mood at the end of um, February and let him go let stuff just figure itself out okay let the energies pass at the end of february um let's take a look and see one message from the lover's oracle for you pisces before we finish soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically yeah so this person is your soulmate okay there's no <laughs> that's probably why there's so much struggle um they're in a mood this is your person. This is your soulmate, your Valentine's thing. Um, just allow it, things to manifest on their own. You don't have to get your hands caught up in every, everything and anything. Just, you know, step back, give them one small thing and let them take care of themselves or what they need to do, right? So these are your messages. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please do go over and check out Crushing the Narcissist on YouTube. It's my new channel. Um, definitely check the description box below. There'll be a link so you can subscribe to the channel and watch the videos. I'm uploading videos there.